young gun from the Niagara region, trying to make it to the business. What's going on, baby? Pretty much, um, I had a love for music when I was a little kid. My mom, my dad both grew up on like heavy Caribbean music. The music runs in the family, and so I, I was able to, I was really able to get a grip on music at a young age. What is your mission? My mission is to be able to uh, not just do it for my own gain, but be also, but also be able to uh, provide my friends, family, just my people with good music that, that they can they can vibe out to, that they can really relate to on on a, on a personal level, and I want to be able to uh, I want to be able to benefit. What stands your way, though? What stands your way? Because we already know, bro, we already know that me and you are going to like integrate in the same business, right? And we know that when it comes to entertainment industry as a whole, there's a big fucking doorway that we had to burst down through, right? What is the strategy game? To get my name out there, to make sure my, uh, to make sure my voice is heard, and to make to make the biggest impact possible. Who who's currently behind you when it comes to when it comes to music? Uh, my parents for sure. I got a couple of childhood friends that'll that'll have a listen. Um, I got you. I got I got a whole bunch of people, bro. Like I got people out in the states who listen to my music. I got people. Uh, I got people everywhere, bro. People, <clears throat> there's gonna be people who are going to love you. Understand? And there's going to be people who that's the thing right so my question is my question is what is the overall obstacle that stands your way right now what is what is what is what is your strategy right what is your strategy of becoming of becoming the next big thing but trying to stay grounded at the same time though for me personally is to make sure that I know what my boundaries are and I stay within them because if I how far would you go though I would I would go beyond my own limitations but still be within reach of those them. are the gate those are the gatekeepers though remember I said those are the gatekeepers though and my goal is to surpass the gatekeepers and eventually become one the scales broken <laughs> <laughs> you didn't reach a scale yet. So how do you know the scale's broken if 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 if, if the if the scale's not if the scale's not even even uh, have been reached yet? Well, well, because of the fact that they've laid out a foundation for the for the newer generation of the for this young generation of young artists who who aspire to become their own uh, their own star. As you go through that threshold of being noticed being on being on camera being being in the spotlight you know what i'm trying to say having a manager going through that transition i guess i should say fame you understand because there was a time in my life where <clears throat> you know things were happening for me and and the whole like transition from me from music me certainly from music to what i am now you know as an actor you know what i'm trying to say it's a very tricky that uh excuse me trans transition especially when things are actually happening can you can you handle that pressure the best uh the best possible answer that i can think of right now um i don't pay attention to the pressure i just pay attention to how far i've come as an artist how far i've come as a human being how far i've come as a man and to be able to to be able to produce the amount of uh, the amount of music and the amount of effort, the amount of hours that I have within the span of time that I've been in uh, the rap game, it's 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 astonishing to see and to be able to to be able to get the feedback that I have from my friends and some some people that I've met uh, in life. It's uh, feels great to be able to to be able to hear the, the the positive feedback from them those you know like our heavy our heavy topic especially you know because these are people that i you know grew up, grew up watching 
they end up successful, right? And they do certain things in order to um, get into this business, yeah. right? How far are you willing to do these things in order to get into this business? You know what I'm saying? The peak of my own mountain, not someone else's. Because when you're living up to someone else's expectations, you're you're not really achieving your own goal. You're achieving theirs. And so once you set goals for yourself, once you set goals for your own uh your own uh what's the word I'm looking for? Wow. Um yeah. Um once you find goals for your own personal like benefit and you attain to those goals, you set new ones. And so the peak just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. And so for me, I shoot for the stars, but I aim for the moon. And so I want to be able to, to reach the moon eventually. This is the thing that irks me. Because how are we supposed to be in a concentrated mind where we live in a generation where people are just getting... Famous overnight. Like, yo, bro, are, are you kidding me? I know. Yeah, bro. Like, like, you guys have the tools. No, no, listen. We, sorry, correct that. We have the tools. Right? We have to use it to the advantage. Are you using it to the advantage? Are you using these tools that you have right now, right? Such as these cameras, these lights. Whatever you got to do to get through that fucking door. You understand me? Because this is not just you walking through it. It's a fucking push. A push that you have to use one time, two times, three times, fucking a hundred times in order to get to where you want to be, right? But at the same time, remember where you went to school, where you come from, where you, where you ate, where you sleep, where you played, right? Will that transition be enough for you to remember where you came from? You don't need money. You don't need power. All you need is simply respect, bro. That's all you need. Who told you that? My dad. No, I respect that because um, there's a lot of people in this uh, in this business, you know, who truly do by themselves, and um, it's it's not the fact that it's heartbreaking. It's just that when you have a passion for something, you don't let anything else bother you in the process of your path. You understand? So it's one of my teachers um, always told me that it takes 20 years to get into the business. I got six. <laughs> and I probably got 60 more to go, maybe a lifetime to go. You understand? Maybe you got a lifetime to go. We have a lifetime to go, right? And the uh, the metaphor is are we willing to push that kind of forever? Are we willing to push that kind of um, transition into this potential lifestyle? You understand? Whenever I feel like I'm like gonna gonna lose, whenever I feel like I'm gonna lose myself, I always think there are back up. yeah. yeah the, there are people who have it worse than I do. And so I want to be able to uplift those people that have it worse than I do. That's the one thing I like about you. You know, you're you're in a generation where your mindset is in the right place but in the wrong path of people who are trying to find themselves. You understand if if that makes sense. I hope I hope that doesn't offend anybody. <laughs> but the overall statement tonight is moving forward know who you are and always always remember where you come from this goes out to everybody who is struggling who is who's thriving you know just just stay strong Keep your head up, keep fighting, and always, 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 always reach out to someone because especially in today's time, reaching out to someone is paramount. So 
in whatever you do, reach out.